Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Now as I said, there are various applications you can use. And so today in this video, I'm going to show you Google Earth Engine and the time lapse application. And so you can do this any any anywhere on the earth. And you have to bear in mind that what you see and how this works is through photography and stitching them together to create a composite image of the earth and it is a complex piece of work to be honest and also but you have to also bear in mind that these images are also stretched to be twice the size they really are so let's just get into oak island for a minute and i will show you on my phone to start with now with this application you can't zoom in any further than that now as i said before about not um, going back through time you can go back further than 1984 but certain applications just keep to that oh and there's certain reasons for that which have to do with a great deal of things that they're trying to hide about this reality about the ancient past about the true scale of discoveries that have been found and how it should completely rewrite the academic society and how you see yourself and history everything so i'm just going to press play and then we're going to watch it go through Now on the computer, because I'm showing you on my phone, you can slow it down. You can choose which ones you want to look at. And so that's what I did. Now what you will bear in mind is, is that on the computer it looks much clearer than it does on the phone. And I also, once finding the, the ones I, I wanted, so let's say in this case, 2000, 2001, 2, either one. But what I'm trying to show you is when you look through time at certain areas, it shows details. And this is how you, through time, study history and archaeology of a certain landscape. So when you have a better understanding of the geological processes and essentially know their technological devices you'll see that how they've tricked your subconscious to think the things i'm saying <coughs> excuse me these technologies but i'm just trying to show you through time how you can take certain images and then it can show you a great deal of knowledge about what's really going on who built it where who's been there etc and the imaging process is I put my say images through. It's quite simple, it's literally in, in all terms of purposes just auto adjust twice. You know, edit it, crop it, you know, auto adjust it. Sometimes I change the light and the clarity um, to full, put the colour in full. Um, but it's not a lot. It's quite simple to do, and, and it reveals a great deal of information when you when you process it twice. So that's what I've been doing. So this is why my images are a lot clearer than what you see there, even though I use the same process and the same, you know, application. It's just, I use my computer, and then I used other editing software, and also then I used you know Google Earth Pro, and I look through time that way, so you can actually look around. And then it it just pays to look. What I'm saying is, you don't actually have to go and dig anything up any anymore because we have the technologies um, to literally see from our own observations exactly what I'm trying to show you. And so I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm not actually really gonna talk about Oak Island. I'm just gonna show you the application. So let's go over here and look at this ancient culture. Would you look at that? It's 
truly remarkable the things you can see. And so there is most definitely an ancient site here right on the coast of, in Canada, in Nova Scotia, in New Scotland. And the Freemasons, who are directly connected to the Templars through the worship of the Baphomet and their secret societies and their oaths, you know, and knighthood, all related to Templars, you know, the British, sorry, the English flag, the cross, is a Templar cross, Switzerland, Poland, we're all controlled by the same people. And so this is what I'm trying to say to you, is that when you really understand the ancient past, and see what was actually to be seen out there, and that you haven't looked into yourselves, um, you'll see that they've absolutely lied to you about a great deal of things to do with this reality, to do with the ancient past, to do with literally like things going on right now. You know, they're they're trained in the art of deception from a very young age, and used often into these positions they get molded they get brainwashed essentially into parts where they play both sides of our reality and unfortunately a lot of you don't understand that, that, that that's the case that the left and the right are the same and that they, they both say the opposite things but are the same so really, you know, the, our government, <clears throat> the British government, work for Brussels, you see. You know, they don't work for the people of Britain. Look at the things they're doing to our country. Look at the things that's going on right now. You know, we're a mixture of all nations because we are now a conglomerate co corporation. You know, we're global now because monarch programming literally has brainwashed the but everyone, the, the majority of the population that are in high density areas, let's say, you know, it's what civilization. They have, you have fallen from grace because you, you don't understand their great deception upon your mind using subconscious frequency. And so, please just know that because you have a soul, you have a true purpose and that this great deception was created centuries ago uh, that's still around us today by the Catholic Church and their secret societies because they absolutely want to re Im emulate the creation in their own way because they hate the creators and the light these these lower vibrational entities let's call them these souls cannot go into the places where we can our souls can because they have been banished to hell and they know they're going back into Pandora's box so they really actually want to take you with them and, and you must see and know right and wrong in a world where bad people have been using good things and saying good things but doing bad things this is our reality Let's have a look through time one more time and let's zoom in. And as you can see, I did the same recent, you know, and I took one picture like I'm showing you now. And what it shows is that there's a great deal of ancient culture here. And these people on Oak Island found Roman artifacts, they found Roman concrete. And yet, it is really insignificant to these people what they're finding because they're not there for an archaeological or histor really a historical purpose. This is a very, very important site, yes, to the Freemasons who really are, are not in it for the historical purpose of what is really to be told. They're only there to follow in their footsteps of their brothers to find something that is going to literally allow them to like to claim 
America their own, that they are the founding fathers, even though they know they're trying to prove it. Something here is going to change history and they're trying to do it. But what I'm trying to show you is that ancient culture proves everything, all their agendas, whatever they're trying to do in this island, meaningless. You just gotta wake up to their agendas and their intentions because they have a fake ass sun simulator in lower of orbit designed to decimate the crops with this because they now control the weather through the guise of science and knowledge of techno um, creation the technological creation which you relate to because your soul relates to technologies which is why you can lose your soul because it, it literally can be put into another computer so it's up to you what you really want to believe in but you're born into a corrupt world of lies and evil and the people at the core of our society have lied to you for centuries and they have planned everything that is wrong with our society for a purpose they want to depopulate us they want to cull us and a lot of people don't even see their agendas and so you must must see that you have a common enemy that are the Templar Freemasons please share like subscribe